Amazing. Good day. I'm excited. Thank you so much for having to always watch the videos that we have um, on this channel. And I'm excited because the, the followers are growing and people, I'm getting a lot of feedbacks. And in this section, what I really want to do is to share with you 10 basic rules for trading Forex. Uh, you know, there are certain rules every beginner must know. And um, I see people coming and they miss out with... With, with the wrong impression of a quick fix and like i do tell i like to share my story because i knew how much i have um, donated to the market if you permit me to use that word uh, the number one thing you must first understand is that every, for you to go into this business you must have a trading plan your trading plan allows you to know what to do and in the same he says that have a plan, trade the plan. Plan or trade, trade the plan. So if you understand the rule of planning a trade and trading the plan, that is what makes those who remain um, disciplined with these rules that I'll be sharing with you uh, 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 keeps doing. And this is what makes them keep making money. If there is no plan, then there must be no trade. So I see people come on board, they want to go in, once they can't do form, they jump in, once they can't do close, they jump in. You ask them, why are they trading? Uh, they said, I saw the candle going down or I saw the candle going up. Now you can't use going up, coming down to form your base of entry. One of the things that will help you as you start this journey is to be able to create a plan. And what, con what, what makes up your trading plan? You want to know when to go into the market. You want to know when to come out. You want to have the conditions to go in. And in a subsequent episode, I'm going to be um, digging in deep into trading plan proper. Now, the second tip that will help you is to be able to know that this is business. Treat it as business. Guys, I... <laughs> I know you've been told that it's a $6.6 trillion. I know you've read it on YouTube, on, on Google, you've watched it on YouTube, how people flip a hundred dollars to $1 million. But guys, the bottom line is that if you don't treat it as business, it's not going to pay you as one. When I started trading Forex, I wasn't treating it as business. When I even started trading volatility index and the rest of other um, um, instrument, I wasn't treating it as business. But until I accepted that this is business, that is when it started working for me. And how do you know it is a business? By keeping record. You need to keep record of what, of what you're doing. You need to keep record of what is working for you. And because it is business, that means you should not take high risk. So that allows you to understand that because it is business, you need to follow certain um, measure and you're good to go. Now, the number three reason, um, sorry, the number three tip is that you need to use a technology. You know, take advantage of technology. Uh, when I first got started in, 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 in the Forex space, I have read a lot of materials, attended a lot of courses. And, you know, I came across a company in 2017 and it allowed me to be able to really start trading forex actively why because i begin to take advantage of tools you know see the purpose of tools is to simplify your difficulties the purpose of tool is to make your journey your stress uh to be reduced so when you take advantage of tools tools that will allow you like one of my favorite tool is a uh, position size calculator Naturally, I will say for every hundred dollars, I want to use 0.01. But that does not make that does not allow us to have a consistent percentage risk. Because for Euro USD and um, Euro GBP, for example, they do not have the same um, they do not have the same peak value. The peak value of Euro USD is less to the peak value of Euro GBP. So that means a 20 pips loss on Euro USD is not the same thing with a 20 pips loss on Euro GBP. But when you take advantage of all 
necessary tools which I will also be sharing a lot of tools for you in subsequent episodes. You want to harness this. And I really, really want to help the beginners, those who are coming on board and those who are really still struggling with this business. Now, number four, uh, <laughs> this is one of the things I love to talk a lot about. And uh, I, I, I didn't get to do to know this or value this until I lost a lot in, 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 in my trading business. Now, the number four is protect your capital. You need to protect your capital. You need to protect your capital for you to become wealthy. They asked one of the most wealthy person, uh, most wealthy personnel in Africa. He said the first rule of money, uh, the first rule of business is protect your capital. The second rule of business is protect your capital. The third rule also, he says, protect your capital. So it's all about protecting capital. So I see people come in with a hundred dollars and they want to flip it to a thousand dollars and they grew from a hundred dollars to three hundred dollars in two days. And on the fourth day, you ask them, the three hundred dollars is gone. Why? Because they did not protect their capital. You know, they were really growing and doing what they were not meant to do by bridging the rules of protecting capital. And what are ways to protect the capital? Use your position lot size. Know what you're putting into the market. Know your risks before putting it in. And I, I'm sure you, you understand what I'm saying. Use your lot size. I'll talk about more about lot size. I'll talk about more about um, uh, um, stop loss. That's the number four. And the number five you want to also know is that you need to become a student of the market. You know, uh, I've, I've created a culture every Tuesday and every Sunday, I've taken it personal to always study the market. You need, for something to serve you, you need to create time to study it. No, it, it, nothing works until you work it, guys. You need to be a student. And in, in, you need to know, uh, you are a student always when it comes to the forex market, when it comes to the indices market, when it comes to the commodity market, when it comes to any of the financial instrument market, you must become a market, the, the student of the market, to be able to see the behavior of the market. Currently, uh, uh, um, the coronavirus is making the push up of the, the forex market to be in a volatility stage. Uh, and because of the vo volatility, People feel that uh, is the coronavirus that is pushing it. But can I share the secret with you right now? It is because the monthly and the weekly uh, charts are in control. And when the monthly are in, and weekly charts are in control, there will be a, a, a huge move in the market. Now, a lot of time, you see, you just need to understand the market curve, which I'll also explain in some other episode. But be, knowing, being a student of the market allows you to know more about the business, allows you to know more about the behavior of the currencies that you're trading and you're good to go. Now, the number six one, which a lot of people don't do, is you need to risk what you can afford. See, I, 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 I've, been, I've been into this for... I've been a victim of this for a very long time. You need to risk what you can afford. If you have a $100, you do not over leverage. The rule is to not risk. The highest you should risk is between 1% to 3% of your account. Even 3% is a, is a bit up. Between 1% to 2%. So if you are risking 1% of $100, you know that you can never lose that account until you are a uh, 1,000 pips away. That is when you're losing. And in, in the volatility market, until you are 100 pips away on the, in the indices market. So you must understand that risking what you can afford will allow you to be even able to sleep well. You know, a lot of time when people go into the market, they are being pressured. They, they can't sleep well. They can't talk well. They are not happy. They are, they, they move into a uh, um, uh, mood swing. And it affects a lot of things. But when you risk what you when you risk what you can afford, you can sleep well because you know that max the month, this is what you're going to be losing on the market. Okay, very important. Now the next one, which is number seven, is develop a trading methodology based on your personality, based on your fact. See, don't just develop a a, um, a trading methodology because it is working for someone. Who are you? What do you see in the market? Is this 
methodology working for me? What do I do? I, what is my approach? When do I go in into the market? When do I come out? The number seven will, uh, uh, will allow you to, to be able to build a culture, a sustainability culture that will help you. Very, very important. And the number eight, oh my goodness. Huh. You stop loss. Did you hear that? Stop loss. 90% of every beginner loses their capital in their first 90 days. Statistics. 90% of beginners loses their capital in their first 90 days. Why? They don't use stop loss. I forgot to put it. I, I, I did not. The market started moving. My phone went bad and I'd entered the trade. I was in traffic. I could not fix it. I was in this. Why do you have to enter a trade without putting your stop loss? Why will you leave your house without going out with your transport fare? Why will you do a transaction without you doing, doing what you're meant to? If a transaction process is not complete, you don't go in. So, one of the critical component for you to remain in this business is to use stop loss. Uh, stop loss has saved my account severally. And stop loss have made me lose a lot of accounts severally because I did not use it. So, you, you don't want to. You don't want to. You want to play safe. You want to play safe. You just want to play safe. It's, it's better you are wrong and you accept you are wrong than proving to the market that you are right. You can't change the market. You see? So I see people, uh, uh, like I do tell people, when you grow your money without using stop loss, you are actually gathering the money till the day the market will collect it back. I'll come again. When you grow your money without using stop loss, you are actually uh, growing the money till the day the market we collect it back. One of my students in the room is laughing because he's a witness of what I'm talking about. Bruce, I'm sure you understand what I'm saying. Use stop loss is very use of stop loss is very very critical and you're good to go. Now know when to stop trade. Stop trading. You need to know when to stop trading. I know you need to know when to stop trading. It, trading does not mean you trade every day. I see beginners want to trade every day. They spend a lot of time on their mobile phone checking trade setup. You don't have to. This number nine is critical. No days to stay away from the market. Know the period to say, I am not trading. Say to yourself, I'm done for the day. And this will help you. I'm sure this number 10 will help you. Know the perspective of the market. Keep trading in perspective you know this goes a long way because you must know that there is a pers perspective in this industry and um, I see people come in and they don't want to lose a trade losing a trade is part of the business winning a trade is what you want but you must accept that losing a trade is part of the business so if you're not willing to lose a trade, then quit for it. Quit commodity trading. Quit indices. Quit any of these trading, financial trading instruments because it's not meant for you. Trading, uh, losing a trade is part of trading. The same way in, your, com in our conventional business, you pick 10 proposals to submit in a, to, a, to different organizations and only one returned back with a deal. Every other one did not work out. Did you stop your conventional business? No, you did not stop. And because you did not stop, that means you should never quit Forex. You should never quit your trading business because you had a lost trade. And if you have followed all the tips I have shared with you, all the rules that I have shared with you earlier, it will help you to understand what I'm talking to you about. So very important to understand 
that the passive, you, you, what uh, your perspective goes a long way to re retain to re to let you remain in the business. So you lose some, you win more. You lose some, you win more, and that is how you must uh, be able to do that. I'm sure with these ten tips, uh, ten rules, you've been able to see what you've been doing wrong and what you need to be doing right. Okay, thank you so much for watching this and. Uh, all you need to do right now is to click on the um, subscriber button below and the bell for notification so that anytime we do an upload with I and my team, you will definitely get um, a notification. I can keep learning, you can keep getting um, the knowledge you need to get and you start implementing it, okay? Super excited um, um, sharing this with you, okay? Uh, I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye.